How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Windy day today at Gwinnett County Airport. I can't wait to show you this new bird. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Sparker. I am like I'm I'm grinning right now because I've missed being able to see a brand new product in general aviation. And I'm telling you, what you're looking at right here in front of me is completely new. You've never seen this airplane before. And you can see also, these are retracts. And as I said, it's a, it's a gorgeous day out here today at Gwinnett County Airport. And guys, before I actually continue the video, let's talk about the sponsor for this video, Look Up Flight Academy, my flight school. So it's one thing to review and show you beautiful planes all day, but you gotta learn how to fly them. So guess what? Later this year, we're going to open our doors here at Gwinnett County Airport in Atlanta, Georgia. If you want to get your pilot's license or you want to build a career being a paid pilot, make sure you check us out at lookupflightschool.com. Again, the Atlanta location is opening very, very soon. Okay, let's get back to the video. So, what do we have here? <laughs> close and close. This is called Sparker. And you may actually be familiar with this airplane brand. Maybe not this particular model, because as I said, this is brand spanking new. Uh, this is from TL Sports Aircraft, and we've actually covered some, some of the other models in the past. Uh, you can check the video description, or I'll leave it up here for you guys to check out. We've covered the Sting, which is their entry-level light sport airplane, and then also the Stream, which is a tandem seating, kind of like a fighter jet looking thing. We covered that as sun and fun. And this baby you're looking at, let me back up, man. <laughs> you're looking at, I mean, when I first approached this airplane, I was like, what is this? It looks like a, a mixture of Lancer and just something very sporty. Uh, and I'll show you what this actually has more than the Lancer. Um, so right now, as I said, you've got retractable landing gear. You've got a longer nose in this uh, plane, but to me, the best quality of this thing is this right here, the cabin space. This may be the widest cabin that I've seen in this class, and I'll show you guys in a little bit. Just, just walk with me here. As you see, TL Sport, you've got a nice long nose here, and guess what? Look how aggressive this thing looks. You've got a four-blader prop, okay, and sitting in there is a Rotax. Now, we'll talk about the performance and some of the options you can get with this bird later on, but right now, this demo plane has a Rotax 915. Although, if you were going to get one of these today, you're probably going to get the newest power plant, which is the Rotax 916. Uh, a lot better, you get better power, better performance, um, and it's probably gonna cost you a pretty penny. <laughs> Uh, again, we'll talk about the price uh, later on, but you know, I'm, I'm moving too fast. Let's check out the swings, okay? You've got nice tip there. Also, the color. Um, this is not my, this is not my personal preference, but this color is also beautiful. You see, it's got like a candy orange, and you've got white, and then some dark uh, highlights here. But look at this wing. So you see this wing, and you see it's come here and you've got this what looks like a winglet here but this actually serves a purpose uh, with the stall characteristics of this airplane and if you can't tell already as i said this is spanking new so you get modern amenities with these things uh, look led lighting even this right here i was asking about this earlier look how that's that's a light right you can't tell but that that lights up that's pretty cool um You've got your, your flaps here, but what I'm more particular when it comes to the wing is how much fuel can we carry? Now with this plane being adjacent to light sport, but this is not a light sport aircraft. This does a lot more than light sport uh, planes. It is experimental, perhaps until the mosaic passes and then we can maybe uh, categorize this plane differently. But with the fuel you've got capacity of 72 I mean 17.2 gallons uh, on each tank and as you know road tax you can't have car gas or a mixture of car gas and 100 low lead but while we're still out here you've got your 
baggage compartment, which I'll show you the actual space in the interior. Again, this airplane beats all of the things you can get, uh, say in a light sport. Obviously, again, you've got the retracts, but you can actually carry more, more load, fly faster, all of the goodies you get in a standard plane. Guys, we're surrounded by standard planes. You see, that's a 172. And what this airplane, I think, compares to more is that guy right there, the Cirrus. When you look at the cabin space and all of the goodies you get in this plane, it's more comparable to the Cirrus. So, without further ado, let me show you this beautiful cabin space here. Okay, so just take a few seconds to absorb the beauty I'm about to introduce you to right now. I'm gonna climb up so I can you can see this from the top down. Guys, look at this. Look at this lush interior here. You know, if you watch Mojo Grip long enough, you know that I'm very, very particular about interior space and attention paid to detail. And when I tell you they did not cut corners with this thing, it is just beautiful. Uh, looks like beige color here with the dark trim. Now, that uh, baggage area I was talking about earlier, this is how big it is. Okay, you can fit up to 75 pounds of load back here. Let me get beyond these. Uh, and I asked them to leave all of the bags in there so you can see just how much stuff you can put in there. See, there's a couple of bags already there. Um, so you've got a ton of room and you can actually carry the load back there. And then we come up here, which is where the magic happens. You've got side to side seating. And by the way, earlier I mentioned the other model, which is the stream. Guess what? This is, think of a side to side version of the stream because the stream has tandem seating, but this is more, I wanna say more acceptable or more common where you have side to side. And guys, I don't know if you can tell, but you see the sheer size of how wide this cabin is. It's, it's insane. This is probably the widest I've seen in this class. The other plane I can compare it to is maybe the Bristel. And speaking of, the goodies. So here, this airplane comes equipped with the Garmin suite. You've got G3X touch screens, three of them, okay? Three G3X touch, you've got a GTN 650, so you can tell this is also IFR equipped. Uh, you've got your autopilot there, radio. Um, you've got your fuel selector and you've got some backup analog uh, screens here now let's talk about this middle console as you can see you've got two levers okay so your main power lever and then i don't know if you can see it that's your propeller because that's a constant speed prop and this one runs very beautifully uh with the engine in it and speaking of you can't you do have the options for different power plants uh, with this airplane which we'll talk about a little bit but guys i'm tired i, I want to get in i want to show you the comfort in this thing because i think for anybody looking at any of the airplanes we talk about guess what you're going to spend a lot of time inside so i should at least tell you what it's like to sit in this bad boy so let's get in okay to get in you've got a step up here you can grab on this so i'm just going to pull myself up you can see also they've got a grab handle there. So now I don't recall if you uh, remember how I got in the get in the TSI. It's a bit more cumbersome, but with this, because the floor is not that far, you just hold on to this and you step in. Guys, we are inside of the TL Sparker, and man, it's it's a different view once you sit in this thing. You can see the beautiful panel here. As I said, you've got three different uh, G3X touch screens here and you've got your GTN 650 to use for shooting approach and things like that but what I'm actually more interested in is this side sticks now I'm, I've got hundreds of hours with the middle stick this is gonna take some getting used to uh, you may feel like a, a fighter pilot in this thing but the the stick here is quite beefy now depending on the size of your hands I've got pretty large hands and this fits my hand uh, pretty good. Now, as you know, with an experimental airplane, with these sticks, you can always program 
all of these buttons and knobs to do a particular function so you're not set on anything in particular I can also tell you the legroom for reference I'm 5'10 I can stretch my legs pretty much all the way but guess what rather than the old way of having to pull your rudder pedals to adjust it you've got an electric push here so if I wanted to push the, the rudder pedals further out I just hit this if I want it closer to me boom and you can feel it and you're like this is pretty cool another cool feature with this airplane you guess look at this all right this can hold stand as a phone holder right you can hold your phone or have a cup of coffee right in front of you as you fly this is again attention paid to detail this is just like really cool quirks and features that your everyday pilot oops uh, can get used to and speaking of the material in here as you can see this is actual carbon fiber which is also what this airplane is built out of it's a stronger material so the entire airframe is also built out of carbon all right so this is not just for show and you see it's all wrapped all around the middle console here if you look even deeper you can probably see some carbon fiber there that material actually is kevlar and uh, tl sports actually wraps the entire cockpit with this material it's to protect the pilot uh to again when safety is built into the design you can't really fault that now some more quirks and features you have some uh storage space here see you can put a bottle of water probably two there also if i go this can be pulled out there's also storage space here and then i'll show you when i turn the camera around i've got another storage space here in the uh in the middle console okay you want to see the best court can feature in this plane look at this right and this is honestly what i love about experimental the fact that you can do things like this so this is an actual camera that's mounted at the belly of the airplane you can see your wheels there not only are you able to confirm through your lights or through your screen here when it shows you green whenever you pull up or down the wheels you can also visually verify that those wheels are either up or down by checking your screen i think that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and speaking of what's this red tab thing guess what the sparker comes standard with a parachute right standard with the parachute so that would not be something you have to explain to the wife you get it right in but again what sets this airplane apart from everything else you see that looks like this is also the fact that you've got retract okay so retractable landing gear if you're i guess getting your your complex endorsement you can get it in this airplane if you own one of these but man i i very much like what i see but let's talk about this seats for a minute I'm gonna turn the camera around here I am guys sitting in the TL Sparker um, again you, you gotta love a well-designed interior now the seats this is not something new or, or this this is if, you, if you've flown other light planes or lower wing airplanes you may get used to it, but just looks and finishes of the seats they're very comfortable again I'm able to spread my legs if you're on a taller side no problem with this airplane uh, you've got room because that nose is quite long and also I didn't mention it I can feel my butt getting warm right now this plane comes with heated seats they're on right now and they're in front of me but look that's the switch right there and I can feel it getting warm so during the winter <laughs> guess what this this comes in handy look the day where general aviation will coincide with your everyday driving I think will be a beautiful day and I love when some of these cool features just step in and right now my butt feels pretty nice on this seats because of the heated seat but outside of that again you when you when you're looking at this plane you want to see practicality as well as I said the cabin width in this thing is 50 inches so you can see for me I'm your standard average guy and I'm locked in there's no I don't need any extra room here so whoever's sitting on my right I'm sure will be very nice and comfortable and I'm saying for myself personally if I'm flying with the passenger it's probably gonna be my wife and she's smaller than me 
so I, I'm pretty sure she won't have any any problems being comfortable uh, next to me and then again what you have to get used to is this right here and I, I tell you it looks good it looks good on my hand for sure so for me personally as a pod this is what I would have to get used to and TL Sport did not again they didn't skip a bit because guess what they gave you the extra room right here to rest your arm and elbow it, these little things count right so if I'm flying this airplane I don't have to be uncomfortable with this because I've got the space and I've got the room there to actually rest my hand so it works out all right beautiful interior again baggage area 75 pounds now I'm gonna jump out and share some of the performance numbers and price with you stay tuned okay guys so we are back outside and this prop is called the tiger by the way again I love how it actually adds to the aggressive look of this airplane honestly when you walk up to it you you might think this is a turbo prop uh, airplane but it, it looks pretty good now let's talk some performance numbers because anybody looking at this plane or anything in this class you this is what you care about with this plane you got a plan so your your speed you're planning for 150 165 knots in cruise okay and the maximum indicated airspeed for this plane is 180 knots that's a pretty wide margin some of you guys are probably already familiar with the road tax uh the 915 but this airplane generally you'd be buying it with the newer engine which is the road tax 916 but you will expect speeds around the 165 knots and only burning eight gallons of fuel per hour as far as range and flight time you can go a good four hours in this airplane for me two three hours i'm good i've got to use the restroom after that uh but again the fuel capacity here is 34 gallons and that will get you a good four hours of flight time now take a seat let's talk about the pricing on this then okay the standard right the starting price on the sparker is three hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars and that's with the Rotax, uh, the, the Rotax ULS, which is 100 horsepower. Now, the higher you go and the more equipment you put on board on this thing, the numbers does go up. If you want it as equipped, this is considered fully equipped. You see all the beautiful glass avionics in there. Again, these planes also come standard with the parachute. Um, with that, you're looking at a little over $400,000. The lead time on this airplane, brand new, you order one today, you only have to wait about five to six months. That's incredible. Okay, five to six months is the only wait time uh, for this plane. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please go ahead and give Mojo Grip a thumbs up. And also, subscribe to Mojo Grip if this is your first time. Thank you all so much for spending time with me. Hey guys, if you would like to get on YouTube and do just like I'm doing, I have a YouTube course. Okay, check out the link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.